Yo, 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 I told you guys. Gary Payton II is on track to return to the NBA Finals. The Warriors are anticipating the return of a major rotational piece in Gary Payton II, who is progressing well, and there's optimism that he could be back at some point, possibly as soon as Game 1, sources tell The Athletic on Friday. Gary Payton fractured his elbow in Game 2 of the second round against Memphis, bracing his fall after being, you know, tomahawk chopped by Dylan Brooks on a flagrant foul that sent him to the floor. Now, the injury occurred May 3rd, and he was given a three- to five-week timetable. Game 1 of the NBA Finals June 2nd, and that's four weeks post-fracture. Payton's left arm was immobilized in the initial days after the fracture, but he's been amping up workouts in recent days. After the clinching the conference crown on Friday, the Warriors plan to give players two-day rest before returning to practice as, as the weekend ends. And they're expected to scrimmage as a team at some point during the week break before the Finals begin. So, how big would a return of Gary Payton the second be? Well, it'd be obviously huge. It would be incredible. He's a defensive dog, and he's one of the best perimeter players in the league. Our Andrew Wiggins did an admiral job on Luka Doncic, but obviously he'll need help against a Boston or Miami Heat team. It seems like it's going to be Boston. With a more supplementary defense needed against a team that has way more weapons than Dallas. Payton can take defensive shifts guarding Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, Derek White, and the rest of the boys. Damn. We're going to see Gary Payton back. That's huge. All right, because I think we can all agree that it sucked. He was having a career year, and then he just gets tomahawk chop. Not even fair. And I, I think we all agree that we want our man, Gary Payton, second back. The son of the glove. Oh, so that would suck being the son of a... Of some, like a hall, it wouldn't suck in the sense, but like you're in the NBA now, and your dad was like a Hall of Famer, so you're kind of living in the shadow all the time. But he's done an admiral job. I still remember when he came out of Oregon State, I was such a fan of his. I think it was like 2K14 or 2K13 was the first year he was out. I used to always sign as an undrafted free agent and just work on like developing him into like a really good player. It worked like 50% of the time, but it's wild. So yeah, that's the video. Somebody just walked into my house. I don't know who, but my mother's dog just started barking. And yeah, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you think bringing in Gary Payne the second would be that big of a difference, or do you think it doesn't even matter? You don't even care if he comes back because you ain't a Warriors fan. You've never been one, and you could care less. I don't know, man. I'm actually I love Gary Payne the second. I'm not even a Warriors fan to say. I'm just an NBA fan in general. But yeah. So I want to hear your thoughts down below. It's basically that. If you heard any crayons, my or like markers, my sisters were doing some shit. So yeah, bye guys.